plank position. You can do some holds if you want in between. But basically, you keep your abs tight, keep your body straight, back neutral as you step it up. Hold if you want to, bring it back down. And then you can switch sides if you want to. So I was using my right side to get up first, switch to my left. So do 20, 25 of these. I promise to burn some good calories. Get that heart rate up. Your abs are tight and engaged the whole time. So, start lying on your stomach. Arms are going to be fully outstretched. Legs are straight. And these are the more dynamic version. Raise it up. Look straight ahead or look down a little bit. Keep your neck in a neutral position. I like to look down, lower down, raise up. So legs are straight, elbows are straight. You don't want to go up too high because that's going to strain your back. You just want to get a little bit of back hyperextension. So you recruit those erect your spine muscles. So you want to do 12 to 15, maybe even 20 reps of these. You can also do the, the uh, ones where you hold them out, static version. Hold, hold, hold. 5, 10, 15 seconds worth. Do a couple reps, couple sets. And some more. Dynamic ones. Quick repetition. Raise it up. We'll bring your hips back down. Raise them up. Back down. So I would recommend doing both so you get the best of both worlds. And of course, you can switch sides, make sure you do the other side. Same core. Arm perpendicular to the upper body, legs are straight. Raise it up. Hold and breathe. You can also get fancy. Bring your arm in, all the way. Bring it up and back. Obviously, not necessary. Plenty out of it. Then you do your dynamic ones. Line your stomach first. Elbows are going to be bent about 90 degrees. Arms are straight, so your arms are in line with the body. Your shoulder blades are pulled back, and your knees are actually bent about 90 degrees as well, raised up. So, raise up and hold, relax, lift up, and down, working primarily your lower back muscles, but squeezing your shoulder blades together is obviously going to work your upper back as well, good for posture. You can also do it and just hold it up for at least 5, 10, 15 seconds for a little bit more of a isometric contraction, a little bit more endurance work, core, uh, core endurance. Make sure you breathe the whole time, obviously, so your blood pressure doesn't go up. And down. First, we'll get a regular plank position. Abs are tight, legs are straight on your forearms. So now you can shift your weight a little bit, keep your abs tight, lift one arm off, switch sides. 
So this is going to take a lot of core strength and a lot of deltoid and lat work as well. A little bit of chest. But you mostly do it for abs, of course. You're not shifting your weight too much, just a little bit. Now, we're going to do right arm and left leg raises. Hold it up. Bring your arm out if you want to, like a quadruped. <clears throat> so this one takes an enormous amount of balance and core stability and ab strength. So then just do your regular plank afterwards. <clears throat> 